what's up I'm the Thultimate Doom and in this video I'm talking about the Breakout Beast. I know on this channel people expect me to do Bionicle videos and stop motions of a Bionicle farting in the face of another Bionicle. Well you're not getting that in this video, you're getting Breakout Beast discussion. Why? Because I really like the lineup, it's kind of nostalgic for me. I used to collect the Mega Bloks Dragons lineup and I loved them, especially the Plasma lineup which eventually became its own line. And these sets definitely remind me of that. Now, if you don't know what the Breakout Beast lineup is, basically they're trying to jump on that little thing of slime toys, mystery toys, all in one, where you get a beast with slime and you have to pull the pieces out of the slime. I know it sounds disgusting, but it's actually kind of enjoyable once you get a couple of these. At the start, I thought, eh, this is kind of weird, I wasn't sure how I'd like it, and then I bought one, and I wasn't too into it, but then I bought a second and a third one, and I really started getting uh, getting into it, uh, especially the designs of the Beast, and I have a pretty good collection of them. But anyways, let's talk about the actual stuff that we're here to talk about. So we got a whole bunch of news for the past, I want to say, couple of months, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna run through a lot of it. And sorry if I'm mumbling or if I screw up on my words, I'm not good with that. <laughs> uh, anyways, the first thing I want to talk about is a pre-order that was set up for a Breakout Beast pack for Fang Frost versus the Spitters. Now apparently this is going to come with three Spitter figures. This is considered to be a battle set. It was originally pre-order for May, but I guess with everything going on in the world, I guess they had to delay it because it's off the website and of course it's past May so yeah nobody's got it so far but I gotta say this does intrigue me especially the fact that we're getting three spitters and a beast in one set I'm not even sure if it's the normal beast because we've got that helmet from Hydrak and that chest piece from the vile set in series 4 but nothing else came of that and it's so weird because they were brand new pieces and they were oversized for those sets. So you expect something like the Fusion Beast to have those pieces, but no. Uh, they just got wrapped up in the, the basic Dragon sets. So, kind of interesting, but there's not really much more information we can talk about. It was on pre-order, it's removed from the site, in fact it was removed recently, and it doesn't have any images, but it's exciting to see, or talk about at least. The next thing I want to talk about is Series 5. So yes, we are going to get a fifth series, and I'm kind of surprised that we already got five series. Um, I, I just thought that it would go up to maybe three, maybe four, and then it would get canceled. But no, Series 5, and we got a whole bunch of sub-themes? That's actually pretty impressive. Anyways, with Series 5, I am not a huge fan of the canisters that were revealed. Uh, these were revealed a while back, and I don't know, they just look like dollar store crystal toys, and the tag tied to it doesn't really help. I wonder how they're going to do the codes for this one, if they are, because I'm pretty sure the codes are going to be really difficult this time, if they're not etched somewhere. Uh, I don't know if they're on that little piece of cardboard, or if they're on the lid. Hopefully they're somewhere, because I don't like the fact that these are mystery packs. I like to have just one of each breakout beast and be done with it but we'll just have to wait and see. But the overall shape of it is kind of weird. I don't know if it's going to really be as eye-catchy as the original Breakout Beast eggs, but uh, they're there. If people like it, you unscrew the bottom and you pull out the beast. So there's that. If you like it, fine. I just personally prefer the original ones. And then we slowly got images of the actual Breakout Beast. I remember at Toy Fair, we actually had two looks at some Breakout Beasts. They had two of them on display. Well, now, on the Mega Constructs website, we have the full assortment of Series 5 revealed. And they have different gimmicks. They have the Slime Launcher, they have the Wing Slime Drippers, and then the Slime Blowers, which is kind of weird. So, they're going to have more gimmicky toys with this lineup, but you can remove the gimmicks altogether, so that's fine and I don't think it really ruins it. Anyways, we've got, for this lineup, Velocivolt, Skellifier, Tentazor, Glowhorn, Griff Glow, Golden Thud, Frost Launch, Cultasaur, and Blazefire. So I'm going to take a look at these from the images of three. Uh, apparently they match up with the uh, accessories included, so all the ones with the slime launchers, they've got their own image altogether. 
And I'm going to start off with Cultasaur. Now, Cultasaur has the horse head and the Game of Thrones style beast legs. It's also got a tail that's similar to one of the Series 4 breakout beasts. I can't remember the exact name at the top of my head. But it's got a more crisply, I imagine, transparent blue color. So similar to Hijack, but I imagine there's a more cyan tint to it. It's definitely got the cyan mane on the top of it. And it's got some purple markings on the side of the head as well as the legs. It almost looks kind of uh, net uh, netro retro, uh, kind of nostalgic, kind of like um, Gem and the Holograms. I don't know if anyone else is getting that vibe. Seems to have an armor piece on the back. I don't mind the colors, but it definitely looks weird compared to everything else. And you can see that the launcher just attaches to the back. The next one we have is Blazefire. Now, Blazefire is an interesting one. Seems to have black or maybe a kind of like a dark brown main color to it with a transparent orange. You can also see that it's got a new main piece for the neck, so that's nice. It's got the fins in transparent orange, which, which looks very nice. Couple horns on the side of the legs, and it's got the Game of Thrones style legs as well. Basic style dragon arms, and it's got the T-Rex head. So very nice, it's got some markings on the side of the face as well as on the torso itself. And it looks like the torso will have a transparent orange body to it. And again, it has the slime launcher catapult thing. The next one is Frost Launch. Now this is one that we did see at Toy Fair, which by the way, Cultosaur had his very first image on Toy Wiz before we got the full nine listing. But anyways, going back to Frost Launch, I don't like the name. I think it's a little too on the nose with that little launcher and it's just, it doesn't really fit. However, I gotta say that it looks really good. I love the coloring, the white arms, it's got those fist bump arms, the spiky tail on the back, and that shark head looks amazing. It's got transparent blue fins this time, which is very nice. I think that the color scheme really works with the white and blue. It's kind of got this icy kind of shark, kind of predatory look to it. And I love the black markings on the side of the head as well as the neck. Looks very nice, and again, of course, it's got that launching piece, which I'm pretty sure you can figure out exactly how that works. Next up, we've got Griff Glow, so it's a lot like some of the previous Griffin-like characters. It's got a different piece for the tail, but mostly everything else except for the wings is pretty much the same as we've seen before. It's got a black color scheme with transparent neon yellow, which I think is very nice, very complimentary. It, it really glows against that black, and I think it really works with that Griffin uh, style design. I, I don't think we've gotten that head in the black color, so it's very nice to see. And uh, it's got some red markings, a couple of red horns on the back, but overall it looks really cool. As you can see, the wings are very different, so it looks like they're all one piece. And basically what you do is you put the slime and it's supposed to leak through the holes, or at least that's what I imagine. So, an interesting and different way of doing that. Also, I've noticed that the tail piece on the back is a different mold. I notice it's that kind of curved, kind of slimming type stale, uh, stale, <laughs> tail design, but it's not as short compared to what we originally got. So that seems to be a new piece as well. I didn't even notice that to start. Uh, but still, very interesting, and I, I do like the look of it. The next one we have is Golden Thud which has a yellow head, so that reminds me of the Thunder Roar beast, so that's kind of cool. It's got transparent green on the neck for that main piece, so that's nice, as well as the underneath of the, the torso. It's got some black markings on the arms, it's got the fist bump arms, it's got the extended smooth curved tail, but then it's also got the wolf tail end to it, so that's an interesting way of doing that. And the slime dripper, has a green and yellow kind of color scheme mixed throughout it, so very nice. Uh, I, I do like it, it's a little more bright than I might have wanted, but I think it looks pretty decent. Next one is probably my favorite out of all of them, I'm not too sure, but it is Skellifier. So what I like about this is you can see that some of the paint is meant to reflect that you can see its bones from inside its body. I'm not sure if it's just like its bones are like shown or if the skin is so transparent 
that you can see right through it. Either way, I think it's a clever design. It almost looks a little electric, like it's been in a storm. Maybe that's its theme, because you can see that most of the color scheme is this dark gray. And it, then underneath, it's got this transparent, I'm not exactly sure what that is. It looks like it's got a reddish tint to it, but I'm not sure if that's how it's gonna look in person or if that's just how the image shows. Either way, it looks very nice. It's got the dripper, of course, with a kind of a dark gray and black swirl to it. Overall, it's very nice, but what's strange is it is the only one out of the Series 5 Breakout Beast mainline sets to carry a flame piece. It's got a green flame piece. Also, the head is that old dragon style head from the very first wave, and it seems to have a rigid style uh, <laughs> rigid style tail. I knew I was going to mess up a bunch of times. Anyways, the next lineup we have is the Slime Blower. So these seem to come with a little piece that will just blow out the slime, so it's much like the spitter sets, but it's just an attachment. The first thing we're going to take a look at is Tentazor, and I love the idea of this. First of all, it's definitely sea creature theme with the tentacle arms and the shark head being used in kind of a brownish orange, like a burnt orange. Uh, very nice use of those tail pieces. It seems to come in two different colors because you have one as the actual tail and the rest of them are being used for the limbs. I like how you use the shorter curved pieces for the limbs. And then from the Breakout Beast, Fusion Beast, you had that double neck piece for the combination that's being used on this beast to combine the arms. So that's a nice touch. Gives it more additional limbs. I think that's a nice idea. Transparent kind of charcoal body, so that looks pretty good. You can see some orange spots on the side of the neck. And overall, I think that one looks pretty cool because it's different from everything else, but it still fits in with the breakout beast. So I do like that. Next up, we have Velocivolt, and this is probably my favorite. If not, it's got to be the previous one that I said was my favorite, but I love the consistent color scheme of this. I also love the new wing pieces. I think that's very nice. You can see the blue spikes throughout it. Now, when I heard about the gimmicks, I thought that the wings were part of the gimmick because that is a brand new piece, but apparently not. You can see that the accessory piece with the gimmick is actually detached in this image and it's just off to the side. Apparently you can connect that onto the back or on the side of the leg. Anyways, it's got the Game of, uh, Game of Thrones style legs and it's got a transparent dinosaur head, which looks very nice. I love the colors with the yellow and the blue and the green. I like the rigid torso right there with the white. I, I just really dig the color scheme of this. I, I, I think it really works. Then next up is Growlhorn, which kind of reminds me of, I think it was Tail Torn from Series 4, the one with the wolf head and the horns. There's something kind of mystical about this one, but it's still scary, it's still a creature. And one thing that I really appreciate is the return of the gargoyle head. We didn't see that in the previous series as far as I know. And then before that, I think the only one that got it was Fang Green. So that was pretty much it. That was the last time we had seen that style of headpiece. So I'm very happy to see that return. Uh, the gimmick piece is on the back. It's also on the back of Tentazor, I should have said that. But the color scheme looks very nice. So Transparent Purple seems to have a brand new neck piece. So there's a lot more new parts to these breakout bees. You have neck pieces, you have wing pieces, you have of course the gimmicks and the heads and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. You know, it makes things a little more fresh, but I love the horns on the top. I love the crimson color that works with that transparent purple. I, I just think that the color scheme really works for this one. It's definitely not my favorite out of the Breakout Beast, but I'm into it because there's a design to it. And what I mean by that is some of the Breakout Beasts were just it felt like they were not sure what they were doing, so they had some random colors through it. Like, I think Ravagor was the green and yellow and blue one from Series 2. It was just so inconsistent in its design. It didn't feel like they knew exactly what they wanted to do. Here, it feels like they did, and it really pulled off, so I do like that. And then, last but not least, for the Breakout Beast is a two-pack 
that's just referred to a, as a Dragon's 2-pack. So first of all, I like the fact that we are getting modern Mega Blocks or Mega Constructs Dragons officially named because that was the line that I'm so nostalgic when it comes to Mega Blocks, so that's pretty cool. And not only that, I feel like it's another nod to Mega Blocks Dragons because Fire and Ice. There was a very famous sub-theme which kicked off the first film for Mega Blocks and it was for Fire and Ice. So I think them using that as the theme for this 2-pack is really cool. Now, this 2-pack also carries the eggs, the traditional eggs that we're used to for, or for Series 1 to Series 4. So I think that's cool that we're not completely losing that. So we get an Orange Dragon. These are not named so far, but eventually I'm sure we'll get the names. So the Orange Dragon comes with that new tail piece. It comes with the Game of Thrones style legs. And then it's got that very first dragon style head from Blackheart and Torchwing. And it's also got a mix of red in the wings, which is very nice. Also the T-Rex arms, uh, which is kind of funny because there's T-Rex parts in these. Uh, for the ice dragon, you got a T-Rex head, but I think it works overall with the dragon theme. Uh, you got some transparent blue parts. It's got the feathery style arms, a couple of spikes. This one's more along the lines of the traditional older style uh, Mega mega Constructs Breakout Beast, except for, of course, the head that's from Series 4. Um, overall, really cool set. I'm very excited for this. It is very similar to the Fusion Beast, though, because the Fusion Beast also had a Fire and Ice type theme to it, but I think that this is definitely selling that Fire and Ice theme to it. Because the problem with the Fusion Beast is they also had to fuse so they had to have some pieces that, you know, with the similar colors so that the combination is more consistent. With these, they're just two different dragons. So you can have a full-on style with these. You know, you can definitely see the one and, oh, that's fire. You can see the one and, oh, that's ice or water. So I think that these look very nice and I'm super excited for it. And I'm so glad that Breakout Beast is still going on. I know it's not the most popular thing right now, but I love these things and I am super excited to see what's next if they continue down the line. I mean, with the Spitters, we've got Series 1, so are they going to do a Series 2? Hopefully they don't just all of a sudden cancel it. Uh, but so far, I'm really excited to see what else they do. With that out of the way, that is pretty much it. I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun dudettes, and I will see you guys next time.